Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to yet another episode of my Road to Humanity series. Um, this is Maximum Donut. But then who else would it be? I mean, this is my channel. Alright, so um, I'm just doing another series of invasions. This is actually still from the very same gaming session as the first two episodes. Um, at this point, I'm up to 30 humanity. Hooray! And I keep on invading this chapster guy. Um, Alright, so... That BS there was absolutely 100% um, fine. Because basically I just left myself completely vulnerable to a backstab there with my wall running attack and so I really deserved it. In fact I'm surprised that more people um, don't do the, um, the wall running. Uh, don't backstab me while I do the wall running attack. And I got really lucky there. I only, I only realized after I had actually started to do the attack that he could just easily pull out his um, his, ca his catalyst and throw a, a um, soul spear at me and just completely pwn my face. But anyway, um, I, I don't think he had the right thing equipped, so I just lucked out there more than anything. Um, and so now uh, I am playing a little bit more defensively just because I've already taken so much damage. Um, my strategy at the moment is just to try and get not just not good trades off to actually just damage him without taking any damage myself. So I am playing fairly defensively, um, throwing out attacks, rolling away. And there actually I thought that was really good. Like I, I, um, I wasn't going for the parry, I, 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 well obviously because I didn't have my shield in my hand, so I went in for an attack and then I thought that he would come in for his attack, so I just backstepped and then did my wall running attack and I, I managed to finish him off and so that was, um, I thought that was a really, I thought that was a really close match and I thought it was pretty good. Um, Neximo again, um, his name sounds familiar, I think I might have invaded this guy before. I cannot remember though. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, this is the Smo armor guy, he was using the Suihanda with the crystal magic weapon, yes, and he absolutely owned me before because I'm just terrible at parrying, and uh, also sometimes I get excited and I parry spam, which is just a horrible, horrible idea. Um, yeah. I actually really enjoy playing against this guy as well. He's a very honorable player and um, he, he likes doing the um, the praise the sun gesture at the beginning of each match. Uh, which actually looks really funny because the smo armor just makes you look so morbidly obese. <laughs> and uh, I just I just find that gesture kind of funny. Um, and again I'm playing a little bit more defensively um, because this guy's obviously using a, a buffed um, a buffed magic weapon. And uh, yeah, he's actually quite a smart player. Um, I expected him to throw his um, wild rolling attack against me before, but um, yeah, but he didn't. He actually rolled in, rolled out, and then came back in. And so yeah, and there that was that was something really bizarre. I've never actually had that happen to me before. But I parried him. I actually properly parried him, and he actually did damage to me. And poise broke me. And so I was just like, oh, okay. And as soon as I saw me taking the damage, I input into the system for me to roll away. And so I didn't have a chance to repost. So, yeah, that's sad face for me. I can't actually remember what happens in this match either. I mean, it's surprising how much I forget after just, I don't know, like I only played this, um, this session maybe two or three days ago. So I don't know, how bad is my memory? And in this match, for some reason, he's whiffing a lot more, so it's giving me opportunities for um, me to, you know, like space correctly and actually come in for attacks um, in my own terms. See, like there, he there was no way that he was going to hit me with that attack, so I don't really know what he was doing there. And then maybe I've gotten a little bit better with. And again, he, um, you know, whiffs on his attacks so many times and actually lets me get off something like 600 damage against him. So maybe it's because I got the repost off on him before, but he was playing a lot less, um, I don't know, he was playing a lot less intelligently, I thought, than, than the time before. I mean, he's still a very, well, he's still a good player, I mean, in my opinion. But yeah, that match, um, I know he played a little bit differently than the way he was before. Okay, so <laughs> the, the, the whole reason that I'm, I'm dropping uh, humanity for 
Chapster is um, because I invaded him so many times. Um, yeah, I just felt kind of bad for him. Like, uh, he's, I think he was relatively new to Dark Souls PvP. And so I um, I didn't really want him to, to stop PvPing just because I was actually beating him sort of quite a few times. And, you know, um, uh, but anyway, he messaged me later saying that he had plenty of humanity. So anyway, um, like, it's not, not that, not like my character needs it. I mean, so, yeah. Okay. Um, so Chapster again, um, using the tin crystallization catalyst in his offhand with a crystal, um, crystal magic weapon buffed katana in his, uh, his main hand. Now getting a little bit... Oh yeah, that's right, I was, um... One thing that, um, I wanted to try, um, sort of getting better at was... Oof. Yeah. That was me trying to be, that was me trying to be a bit fancy, um, but it's something that... Whoa, I don't actually know what happened there. I don't remember that at all. Um, yeah, this is one thing that I've wanted to try and get better at was um, was being able to aim my pyromancies and things without um, without targeting. And um, obviously that was an epic fail. Okay. Um, I'll briefly comment about what happens there. Um, so I've actually noticed that, um, well, ooh, oh, yeah, he, he does beat me there um, with his while running attack. But anyway, um, when I come in for a um, running, while running attack myself and I, I whiff as in I completely miss, um, I find that like people can come in for backstabs really easily. So what I do is that I just um, go, I just like tap my R1 attack and it turns me around and then either like if I do manage to get some damage off on them, then that winds up being a trade, and then they, like, the backstab animation plays, but I don't take any damage. Or um, I simply avoid a, um, I simply avoid getting BS'd in the first place, and um, we just trade damage, and then I roll away. Obviously, that doesn't work with some weapons, like um, huge pre uh, poise breaking weapons, like the um, the Zwei Hunter. But I have found it to be a fairly effective weapon, um, a fairly effective tactic in uh, avoiding uh, avoiding BSs, I guess. All right, so this is Dovakin um, 99. Uh, he's using. Uh, ooh, I think he's using the um, the Golem armor. No, sorry, he's using Havel's armor. Yeah, he's using the Havel's chest piece with the. Um, the vitality mask is also using a um, a washing pole, which is unbuffed at the moment because I think he um, likes using the uh, charcoal flame resin as a buff. He's also got a um, he's also got the uh, parrying dagger in his um, in his offhand. But I actually do feel fairly confident in playing against a, a player who I know is going for for parries very often because. Um, that while running attack sometimes is diff very difficult to um, to parry because if you if you space it right you can hit them just with the tip of it and then if you're hit hitting someone with the tip of the tip of your weapon it's actually very difficult um, to parry so um, that's why I'm going for the while running attacks quite often also because um, you know it, it's sort of it's harder to um, to predict I guess and it's harder to to parry and, and what have you. And we, we trade a few um, sort of uh, backstepping um, R1, att R1 attacks right there. As this match went on, um, and I sort of did like slowly chipped away at his health, I realized that he had like a shitload of health. And so um, I figured halfway through this fight that he must actually be very high level. Particularly since um, it's not like the, the washing pole is a particularly light um, weapon, but he's still using like very heavy weapon set. I mean, I think he's using close to full Havel's armor, so he must actually have quite a lot of endurance, um, yeah, quite a lot of endurance as well. So, um, yeah, I figured that he was a fairly high level. He's, I don't know, I don't know if he's, um, his dexterity, um, dexterity built, or, or if he's just, um, a vitality gouge, vitality endurance gouge with 
like using a buff weapon. Uh, if he's using a buff weapon, it's more than likely that he has put points into one of strength or dex. But uh, I don't know. I, I didn't really get. Um, I didn't really talk to this guy about his stats. Um, once he gets uh, enough of a distance on me, he um, he rebuffs his weapon. And at this stage, it's coming down to a. Um, you know, he's really low. I think I have slightly more health than him, but because his health bar in general is so high that um, like I don't really know how much health he has or how much health he has left. I'm two-handing my weapon because um, and I figure I only probably can, I will only be able to get like one or two more shots off on this guy before I get really low. So um, I'm just trying to find openings here basically. And I saw that he was um, well, actually, he he was rolling in, and, and I managed to get my wild running attack off on him. And he also got he also clipped me in his attack with his attack as well. But um, he put me down to low enough health that I <laughs> that I actually um, activated the red tear stone ring, and then I get five hundred thousand souls off him. <laughs> so he must have been much 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 higher level than me. Anyway, he fought really honorably, and I actually really enjoyed that match. I thought it was fairly close. He messaged me later asking me to fight more on the um, the sort of flat area um, in, in our future duels, but I never actually played against him um, again, unfortunately, which is a shame because I did, yeah, I, well, other than the fact that I enjoy getting so many souls, but also, um, yeah, he was a very honorable player. I don't really know why my, um, my sword is doing so much damage against Chapster. Um, like 500 damage I thought was quite a lot. Maybe maybe it's simply because um, maybe there was a, a counter hit, I'm, I'm not too sure. At this stage, I mean, we've, we're both really low now and um, I know that he's low enough that um, with my red tear stone activated, I'll actually um, kill him in one shot. And uh, that was actually very lucky that I managed to get a, a hit off on him just um, sort of far enough away from him hitting me that he died before he actually managed to get his swing off because otherwise um, it would have been otherwise I mean like I'm sure plenty of people have experienced situations before where they've traded shots with people and, and they've both died so yeah that was very lucky um, alright so this in this match <laughs> I, I tried something a little bit different and uh, yeah, just because I've played, I played against Chapter so many times, um, I thought I might try like um, using untargeted attacks a little bit, but duh, just another epic fail. Um, yeah, you guys will probably see quite a few of these, um, these kind of failures, um, just because um, I, I I do try new things and um, oh dear. I, I do try new things um, with this build, so you know you guys will see pretty much everything. And uh, he attacks me while um, while I'm bowing, so again, no mercy. The reason that he um, his backstab didn't do any damage to me was because I've got um, one piece of of the um, armor of thorns on, and so that that um, armor set um, does damage if you roll away, and so. Um, if you damage someone while they um, manage to get a backstab off on you, then you actually don't take any damage from it. So that's that's the reason why um, the backstab animation like occurred, but I didn't actually take any damage. Um, so because I've done so much damage to this guy now, he's just trying to edge me out with um, using sorceries. But um, and yeah, I don't know why like that group of crystal sawmas actually um, actually hit me before, but. Yeah, did, and that was actually really dangerous as well. Just then, um, I rolled into that um, that soul spear, but because it was because the um, the lag in this game, yeah, sometimes it it shows things in places, but they're not actually there. So that's why I didn't get hit by it, and I get a rolling um, a roll BS off on him when he's using his R two moonlight great sword attack. Anyway, thanks for watching yet another episode of um, my Road to Humanity. Uh, this is the end of this particular gaming session. Uh, stay tuned for more. Cheers!